All right, let's go back down this way, guys. Whee! Woo! Ray Wade and his family are happy to be spending the weekend at Bastrop State Park. But for a while, he was a little concerned. So we had on the calendar that we're gonna come camp and we were kind of watching the news articles saying, okay, the park is on fire, what, you know, what's going on? But it was nearby Bisher State Park that burned this time. In contrast to the Bastrop County complex fire that happened in 2011, the recent Hidden Pines fire impacted more of Bisher State Park than Bastrop State Park. It's been less than a month since raging wildfire engulfed Bastrop County, closing Bisher State Park and threatening the community. 50% of the park burned, including the corridor that connects Bastrop to Bisher. The great thing is we didn't lose any park structures and the park is open. We encourage people to come out and enjoy the great fishing and camping, but the trails are currently closed. Even though you can't hike the trails at Bisher, the camping and fishing are still good. As soon as I found out it was open, I'd, we caught some good weather and we'd come over here camping and do a little fishing. Recent heavy rains have also made for happy campers. We were a little concerned because we weren't going to be able to have campfires. There was a burn ban in place, but we thought with the rain that uh, they would lift it, and they did. I always show this cabin first because it's my favorite. They'll come right in. Tom Baxter and his friend Oriel stopped in to check out one of the Civilian Conservation Corps cabins built in 1930. Oh, gorgeous. amazing. Gorgeous. I'm so glad we got to do this. Yeah. And even though many new loblolly pines perished in the fire, there are still plenty of pines left. Now that we're four years past the Bastrop County complex fire, which did impact 96% of Bastrop State Park, uh, we're seeing a lot of recovery. There are so many natural regenerating pine trees growing. They're all taller than me now. And we have a lot of nice greenery here in the park. It's getting cool in the mornings and then warming up a little bit throughout the day. So we encourage uh, families to come out and look at the park as it uh, goes through that recovery process and see new things every time they come out. That's what Ray and his family intend to do. Well, it's just, um, it's a beautiful park. With the, the kids love the hills and stuff. And that's good news for both Bastrop and Bisher State Parks. Yeah, the parks are open. We've been through quite a lot with at Bastrop and Bisher State Parks, but we have a beautiful day and both parks are open and uh, excited to have visitors out. We don't have hills like this at home, do we? For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Karen Loke.